Hey guys, so today I decided I'd try something new. Um, at When I worked at Francesca's, I got this book that we had in and it's called College Cooking. And it has like a bunch of like really cool recipes. Like this is what I really wanted to make tonight, barbecue chicken pizza. But the ingredients were kind of expensive and I already had pretty much all the ingredients here that I needed for the dish that I'm making tonight. So I decided that I was just going to film it and maybe like put the, I don't know, just like show you how I'm doing everything kind of thing. I don't know what I'm saying right now, honestly, let's be honest. Um, and I'm going to make like a little series maybe and like do different um, recipes from this book that I have and just kind of show you because they're, they should be really easy to make and stuff because um, it's a college cookbook. They're not, you know, like professional recipes or anything. But so today we are going to do spaghetti carbonara and this is what it should turn out like. Let's see if it actually does. Um, and so just some things that you're going to need are one pound of uncooked spaghetti, which I'm actually, um, I'm actually substituting. I'm going to use angel hair because that's all I had. So using this and then 12 ounces of bacon, two cloves of garlic, four eggs, a half a cup of milk, a half a cup of grated Parmesan cheese, and salt and pepper. So, I'm getting everything all set up because the first thing you were supposed to do is bring a large soft pan of salted water to a boil and add the spaghetti. So, as you can see, I've started this. Okay, and so obviously it's boiling, so I'm going to add the spaghetti, and then this is a whole pound right here. There we go. They're all down now. Okay. And the next thing you need to do is cook this for 10 minutes or until uh, Dante, and I'm finishing, I'm pretty sure that means just finished. Um, and then we're going to drain it, but that's later. So I'm going to set the timer for, I'm going to set it for 10 minutes and stir it every so often so that the noodles don't stick together. And it's very important to stir spaghetti or like any kind of noodles at the beginning so that they don't clump together because they're naturally going to do that. Um, but definitely, especially at the beginning, you're supposed to um, stir it up so that they don't become all... Because if, if you ever um, have had pasta that's kind of hard and it's all stuck together, that's why. It's because you didn't stir it enough at the beginning or even all throughout, but especially at the beginning. Um, and that's why it got all clumpy and hard. So we're going to do that. And once pretty much all stirred up, put the lid on so it cooks faster. All right, and then next, obviously, you see here is the bacon. So with the bacon, you're supposed to um, cut the bacon widthwise into four a half inch um, with half one fourth inch inch strips um, widthwise. So obviously, I had like strips of bacon like this. Um, and then that's just kind of the width I cut it. Um, and obviously they're all in there. And then you're supposed to cook in a large saute pan over me medium high heat, stirring frequently for 20 minutes or just until it starts to get crisp. Um, and you can just kind of play this um, by, not by ear, I guess by eye, um, just to kind of see when it gets crisp because you, I'm pretty sure anyone who's ever had bacon knows when bacon's crisp and when it's not. Um, and since we do, shit. Watch out! Well, kids, this is why we put it on a low heat, and clearly, Casey's no cook. So, Come on now. Let's not freak out. Okay. That was terrifying. Wasn't it, kitty? Jimmy's watching me. I can smell it burning because the electric stovetop got wet. It just smells disgusting. So clearly, let's just um, not put the top on this. I'm 
throwing water on it because if it sizzles, obviously it's on. It's not sizzling, but it's getting red. So I'm just gonna stick with this one for now. It's gonna unevenly cook, but I'm gonna try my best not to make it unevenly cook. Don't wanna leave that on. I left it, um, I turned on the saucepan one time when I was, um, ooh, with nothing in it, and look what it did. Well, first, it burned the bottom. But you can kind of barely tell that. Oh, no, nope, you can tell very much, though. And then, I burned this. Ugh, because it was, like, leaning against the thing like that. It's so bad. And just so you know, this um, recipe serves four people. Obviously, I'm only one person, so you definitely are going to have leftovers, which is awesome. And this meal only cost me about $4 because um, I already had the pasta and I have eggs and all this other stuff. I only had to buy the bacon and the garlic, which so it was only $4.57 or something like that. Because I just got, like, um, the brand, the store brand of bacon. You don't need any fancy bacon, let's be honest. Okay, so the pasta's done, now we're just going to drain it. Okay, now we're gonna peel and the garlic and finally chop. Okay, so peel all of this grodiness off. Okay, and this is what you want. You don't want any of this crap. You want this little thing. Okay, so I just learned myself, this is a clove. Not this, this. You need two of these. Okay, it's starting to smell really good. So what I just did is I finally chopped the gar the two cloves of garlic. And um, now I added the garlic to the bacon. And I'm now cooking it for two minutes. Just until the garlic um, begins to brown. And I'm kind of already starting to do that. It smells so delicious, by the way. Mmm, bacon and garlic. Like, you wouldn't think that's would smell good. But it's fucking amazing. So... I think actually what I did, I don't know if you can tell, I think I overcooked the bacon, but we'll see when it all turns out how it tastes. Um, it did, definitely is not how it looks in the, um, it's definitely crisp. Um, I was just afraid that I would undercook them and then get like poison, like salmonella or something like that, and I don't think you can salmonella from that, but... 
Now, while we're waiting, now we need four eggs. So now we're taking four eggs and we're beating it in a small bowl until they're completely combined. Okay, you want it to kind of look a little bit like this. Okay, we're going to take a half a cup of Parmesan. That is a lot of Parmesan. That's like my whole freaking thing. Okay, and then you're going to do a half a cup of milk. Which, by the way, had way more than a half a cup. Okay, last time I was making um, macaroni and cheese. And I totally had no milk. Zero. I had probably like... I don't know, a fourth of a cup, and then I need a half a cup for, um, ooh, that's gross. Oh, huh, it's gar garlic. Um, I needed a half a cup to make macaroni and cheese. I only had a fourth. Let me just say, it turned out nasty. Okay, so now we're going to add milk and Parmesan to the cheese and stir well. Um, add the hot spaghetti and the egg mixture to the pan. Okay, I'm gonna do it kind of differently because I don't trust this pan because I don't think it's gonna handle enough. So I'm gonna add this to this. The thing is, I don't know when the how the when the eggs are cooked because it says add the hot spaghetti. That egg mixture to the pan, which is this, but I'm totally not skipping that, so I'm skipping that step. Um, and remove from heat and stir the noodles, stir until the noodles are coated and the eggs are cooked. Season generously. Well, how do I know when the eggs are cooked? Because you don't want to fuck around with eggs. Now I'm going to combine the two, just because I feel like that's safe. It's starting to cook. This could be really good or really bad. If I get poisoning from these eggs, I'm blaming all of you, just so you know. Alright, and now that we're done with that, it says season generously with salt and pepper and serve immediately. Alright, and now, dinner is served. Ooh, is there any result? I brought more Parmesan just in case I wanted some. So, I'm going to try it, tell you how it goes. It's pretty decent. I want to taste some of the bacon, I only got noodle. I think if I were to do this again, I'd want to add more bacon, because I feel like so many noodles, but not enough bacon. It's pretty good with um bacon, so. Good job, Casey. I'm going to finish eating, but thank you so much for watching. Um, look for more of these little random cooking videos. I think I'm gonna do more of these. I think I like them. Um, hopefully it wasn't too boring. I'm definitely gonna speed it up because now we're at 50 minutes and I'm not gonna make you sit here for 50 minutes and watch me cook. So, um, it was good talking to you guys. No, wrong choice of words. Um, I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know if you want more of these because I'll definitely make more if you don't want more. Um, I think I'm definitely gonna do more recipes that are in that book and kind of test them out and tell you which ones are my favorite and stuff like that. Kind of like a review of a book at the same time of a cooking lesson. Yeah, sure, let's do that. Alright, um, I'll see you guys later. Bye.